Did your menstrual cup disappear? Did your menstrual cup do acrobatics? Or are you just having a hard time reaching your menstrual cup? Then you probably have a cup that's too short for you. Don't worry, your menstrual cup can't travel from your vagina to any other area inside of your body. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're using a small size cup, you might want to try the larger size in the same brand. Try a cup that's more V-shaped or one that has more length in another brand. Today I'm going to give you some options of the longer cups that are on the market these days. First of all, if you don't know if you have a low or a high cervix, I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video and also in the description box below for how to locate and measure your cervix. While cervical height is helpful, it's not the only factor that you can think about when hunting for a menstrual cup. If you're interested in more information about how to choose your first menstrual cup or just choose another menstrual cup that might work better for you, I'm going to leave those links as well. So let's go down to the table and check out some cups. As you can see here, a V-shaped cup has more length on it than a bell-shaped cup. Some bell shapes have a little bit more length, but normally not as long as the V-shaped cups. Bell-shaped cups tend to have a more rounded body and may consist of a flared rim or a regular style rim. Here are two options for longer cups. I'm not going to really go into a whole bunch of detail about them, but uh, neither of these stems uh, can be trimmed down. They are part of the cup. This is the Iwo cup. There are several cups like it on the market, um, different bodies maybe, and different release mechanisms on the stem. Mine, you give it a pinch, it opens a mouth in, in the inside, on the inside, and allows the blood to pass through without actually removing your cup. This cup measures 79 millimeters and this would be considered the large now at the time of my purchase. It was the only size that they had to offer. They do have a smaller size um, and I don't know if it's on Amazon or not but you can find them on like Alibaba and AliExpress. This is the Amy Cup Original. It's the medium size, which is the larger of the two sizes that they have to offer. This cup measures 67 millimeters long, and um, the stem on this isn't really a stem. It is part of the cup. If I turn it this way, you can see right down into it. If I stick my finger down there and pinch the base, I am pinching my finger. If you're curious about these threads here, it is because this cup comes with an applicator. I don't have it right here with me today um, but you can purchase this cup with or without the applicator and you use it kind of like a tampon applicator in which you fold the cup up put it in the applicator and push it up um, into place and when you're removing this cup you would use the applicator screw it on here and then wiggle the cup out you can also check out the Lily Cup Original in either the small or the large. They are the same length. The diameters are the only thing that um, make a difference between these two. So with the stems intact, they're 78 millimeters. And with the stem completely removed, it is 66 millimeters. So the longest cup on the market, as far as I know, is the Love Your Body in the medium size. It measures 82 millimeters with the stem intact and 62 millimeters without the stem. The next cup is the Alicia cup. It's not being made anymore, but there is a seller that got their hands on uh, a whole lot of them and have them on eBay and I believe Bonanza. But I did do some information on this cup and the links are in that video uh, if you're interested in it. I'm not sure what the stem length was. I didn't have it written down right now. But the um, length without the stem is 59 millimeters. Again, we have another Love Your Body cup. This is the large size. Uh, this cup measures 77 
millimeters in height with the stem. Mine obviously doesn't have the stem intact. Um, and 58 millimeters without the stem. The new Juju High Cervix Cup is next. It stands at 78 millimeters with the stem intact and 58 millimeters without the stem. And last in this group is the V cup and this cup is from India. It's not the V slash cup uh, that you can find on Wish and Alibaba and AliExpress. Uh, this one stands at 65 millimeters with the stem and 58 millimeters without the stem. The stem is already a little bit short um, for those of you that want a longer cup, but not necessarily a longer stem. All of these cups here are about the same height at around 56 to 57 millimeters without the stem intact. However, they do kind of look different because of the shape or size of the stem. The order here is actually the size of the cup with the stem intact. However, again, they are about the same size at about 56 millimeters. First, we have the Yuyuki cup. Uh, and this cup measures 75 millimeters with the stem intact and 56 millimeters without the stem. Next, we have the Silky Cup, which would measure 72 millimeters with the stem and 57 millimeters without it. The Casco Cup measures 70 millimeters with the stem, which is a short stem to begin with. Uh, they did put a little bit of a seal in there so you can shave it down just a bit um, and make it 56 millimeters. The Diva Cup is also 70 millimeters with the stem and 56 millimeters without. Lastly, we have the Maluna Extra Large, and this cup depends on which stem you choose. There are four different versions, and I do have the ball stem here. Without the stem and just measuring the cup itself, it is 56 millimeters. Well, those were the longer cups in my collection and the ones that I thought would work better for someone that had a medium to high to a very high cervix. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you have a high cervix and you use one of these cups. Or if you're still searching for a cup that has the length that you need. Until I see you next time, take care.